And just moments ago, a rally began in support of the seven Rikers detainees who have died so far this year at the prison. And CBS 2's investigative reporter Tim McNicholas joins us live outside City Hall with the protester de protesters' demands and more. Tim? Doug, behind me, you can see former Rikers inmates, public defenders, and other community activists gathering for this rally. They're holding banners with the names of all seven Rikers inmates who have died so far this year. They decided to hold this rally after the death of Curtis Davis, an inmate who was found unresponsive in his cell Sunday morning. And now we have just confirmed that two correction officers and one supervisor, an assistant deputy warden, have been suspended in relation to that death. Correction sources tell us that that they are accused of not properly touring the jail Sunday morning. Davis is the seventh Department of Correction inmate to die so far this year. And earlier this month, the DOC suspended four employees in relation to another Rikers death. People gathered here today say Rikers should be shut down. But, but, but Department of Correction Commissioner Louis Molina told me last week the jail should stay in the city's control. Well, I understand from many um, that their patience is wearing thin. But I think I would say there has to be an appreciation for the level of stabilization that we were able to do in the last 19 months. It was very dangerous. Um, I remember 16 years old, I got jumped like two times by 20 people. You know, people try to cut me, stab me. A federal judge will ultimately decide whether an outside authority known as a receiver should take control of the city's jails. And just last week, we mentioned that statement from U.S. Attorney da Damian Williams. He, he uh, mentioned in that statement last week that he supports a receivership. He says he doesn't want to wait any longer for substantial progress. The folks gathered here today would agree with that sentiment. Commissioner Molina, on the other hand, he says that violence is down in the jails and the staff members are showing up to work more often. Live at City Hall, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. All right, Tim, thank you.